Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. I have two large bags here that were given to me by a friend. Bags of what, you may ask? Well, obviously, I think it's trains. And this is just a bunch of stuff he wasn't going to use anymore. But he gave me two big bags of trains. It's a lot of random stuff, but there's some really cool stuff in here. So why don't we just jump in and see what we have? Because I honestly, I don't remember what all he put in the bags. We have a 9233 Lionel Transformer car. Look at the size of that thing. This is pretty cool. It needs a coupler on one end. I've thought about buying one of these many times and I never got around to it. So after I replace a coupler on the end, it should be good to go. I don't love the trucks that are on this thing, but I don't imagine I'm gonna run it all that frequently, so it'll be just fine the way it is. 9429 Joshua Lionel Cohen commemorative boxcar. The early years. It says a bunch of stuff. I can't read it. I don't have my glasses on. Nice die cast trucks on that. 9715 Chesapeake in Ohio. These are all gonna be traditional size cars. I definitely do still run a lot of traditional size stuff, so it works out well for me. 601172 New York Central black car. Interesting, he said that this was sitting on the table one day and the end just kind of burst, popped, snapped, and was all deformed. I think ghosts, definitely ghosts. 9370 Seaboard Gondola. If nothing else, some of these cars have nice die cast trucks on them. 36874 Pennsylvania Spotlight Car. 9371 Atlantic Sugar Refineries Limited. That's neat. Missing a door. Maybe I have one. Maybe I don't. Another Spotlight Car. This one a 9312 Conrail. 6103 Canadian National Hopper. It's more likely that I have an extra brown one than I do yellow. But actually, that might be in there. Oh, sweet. Score. Well, that's a win. And that's a loss. I just snapped the, the spring off one side. Oh, well. Still sits on top. And one of these days I'll find where that spring went off to and uh, maybe reunite it with that car. Western Maryland 9818 insulated box car. Ah, uh, I like this one. Uh, Pennsylvania Merchandise Service 9441. 9440, Reading Lines. Uh, here's the other Joshua Lionel Cohen car. 9431, the pre-war years. Let's see if I can get back to it. Sweet. Santa Fe Super Chief, 94.65. Chesapeake in Ohio, 16.705. A 19.805 Santa Fe boxcar. 15.052 Amtrak Express Track car. Chessie System, 93.29 Crane. And a Canadian Pacific, 65.08 Crane. Let's see. That bag's empty. We got a 3656. What is this, the horse car? I'll have to get that working sometime. I think I have the corral or whatever somewhere. That's it for the cars. But that is awesome. Oh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20 new cars that will definitely reignite my interest in running the traditional size cars. Not like I don't have traditional size up on the upper loop anyway. Now these are shorter than the ones that I have from the post-war era, but here we have a set of Baltimore and Ohio bud carts. Now they're missing some detail pieces and they've been well used. And one or two of them, one or two of the motors don't really work or there are gears missing, I don't remember which. Um, so it'll be a project, but if I can get one working, 
and the other as a dummy, that will work well for me. I might even be able to run these on the upper, upper, upper loop. We got an 8803 Santa Fe. Some damage, some parts missing. Front truck is missing gears and the rear one is falling apart. I was thinking I could, could, probably won't, but could paint this to go behind my Lion Chief Hensi engine. And that might look decent. I might not, but maybe I'll do it. I'll probably just open this up, pull the motors out, see if they're any good, clean them up, maybe use them for this or another engine. There's also this 8063 Seaboard engine, which is a mess. One motor, mechanical E unit. The shell is nice. Wow, oh, maybe I can get this going. This might just need some wiring, uh, but it's already got LEDs in it, which is nice. I have two similar Long Island engines. Uh, and only one of them's powered. I don't remember if it's one motor or two, if it's this style or another style. Um, but between this engine, the Santa Fe, and this other engine I have that I've had for a while, I was thinking it would be really neat to have three engines that were powered that I could run together. I think that just might be fun, especially if I do actually make the layout larger. It might be neat to run two or three engines together uh, with a long consist. Now this is one I've had for a while and I picked up for like 40 bucks or something. It's an 8662 Baltimore and Ohio, the dual motor, electronic E-unit. And I honestly have no idea how to hook this up. So between this engine, the Seaboard and that Santa Fe and the two Long Island engines that I have, I'm hoping to get three decent working engines. I mean. None of them are gonna be great because these MPC engines aren't the best, but if I can get three of them working close to, you know, the same speed, it might be neat to run three of them together. I would think it would make sense to repaint. It'd probably be easiest to paint them to look like the Long Island engines because gray and they just say Long Island in white on the side. I think the first step would be to get three of them actually working. A Couple of signals, A couple of these Lionel IR sensors. No idea how to use these, but I'm sure I can figure it out. A little plastic building. Some small trees that have seen better days. I need trees, a lot of trees, so this will help. A bag of electronics that I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with. I mean, I'm gonna put them in an engine, but uh, I'll have to figure out how. So diesel rail sound kit. So never installed something like that. So that will be entertaining. It will either make a good video or be a good project to really aggravate me. Or both, we'll see what happens. Nothing like coming back from York with my purchases, but to come home with these additional two big bags, that's just happy time. There is one more thing. I think just one more. If you didn't know who this stuff came from, this might tip it off, this next one. It's a Chat and Chew smoking diner. You may have seen this before, you may not have. I am definitely going to make a spot for this. You got to clean it all up, resecure the lights, resecure the LEDs inside. Uh, but the smoke works because I was just running it to make sure that uh, that everything was good before I thought about where to put it. And I have the perfect JT Mega Steam for this: frying bacon. That is what a diner smells like: frying bacon. This is cool. I really like the fact that it smokes. And I'm hoping that I can really start getting somewhere with buildings and some detailed scenery. I would really love for this layout to start being green instead of pink and brown. But hey, there's no rush and it's not a race, but I like little things like this that inspire me to get moving. So that's quite an unexpected haul. Um, of course, now I need to find a place to put all this stuff. Uh, I had just recently reorganized my shelves that are behind me under the layout. And now I guess I have to do it again. But that's okay. That's a good problem to have. Yep, I think that's everything. The generosity of people in this hobby just continues to astound me. Keep on being awesome and make sure you share the hobby with people because that's really 
what's important is not just enjoying it ourselves, but sharing it with those that are important to us and hopefully inspiring new hobbyists and just trying to make the world a better place one train car at a time. So thank you again, my friend. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to some of these projects and just cleaning up some of these cars and running them. And if there are a couple that I don't use, there might be some good parts. So this is one major win as far as I'm concerned. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.